somewhere to drink. Oh, the liquor. You came right to the liquor to say hi to me? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> hi, hi, how are you? Hola, Good to see you. Hi. Oh, okay. okay. Come on, man, relax. The of the group is. How are you guys doing today? Good. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So you're about to drink. Yeah, well, as you can see, we have this amazing bar set up for us, courtesy okay. of Ciroc, but unfortunately, we're missing one key ingredient. What's that? What? The bartender. It's my day off. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, I make the best cocktail. Man, look, look. I'm going to be the bartender. The OK. You got a lot of eyes and pressure on you. I thrive under pressure. You are all big faces in the Instagram video world. How did that rise happen for you? New app came out called Vine, and it was, you know, people were posting videos on it. I started posting videos. So I was like, well, I'm going to figure out what I want to do. I'm going to just do these videos in the meantime. And they all took off from there. You guys all create content for the internet. How do you stand apart? Honestly, um, growing up, I was a very big athlete. I gave it up, but I also had a passion for modeling. But I gave it up. No one would ever th know this, but I was going to school to be a doctor, to be a pediatric dermatologist. Yeah, all entirely off. But entertaining people is what actually I enjoyed that so much. Like I was working four jobs going and going to school and I just wasn't happy. And then literally I got introduced into the, the music video world. I thought that I had to be super sexy, like do the little lingerie shoots. I was like, okay, that's what's getting this person on, that's what's getting this person on. And I was just like, you know what? That's not who I am. So basically what you're saying is, uh. We won't be able to see any lingerie uh, pics from you anytime soon. Now, unless Victoria's Secret woman to be right. an angel, you ain't well, doing none of that. That sucks. Let me call Better, Victoria. yeah, better make a call real quick. Before I moved to LA, I was actually going to school for criminal justice to be an FBI agent, which is so off, but I was like, what? okay. Yeah, I know. I wanted, I wanted to be. <laughs> Do things that come strictly from your heart. You know, don't take somebody else's swag. Use your own. Stay in your lane. Don't try to be what somebody else doing if you Want to be 50 Cent? Don't try to rap like 50 Cent. Rap like your own thing. I started out probably doing like sibling skits, and I was in college when I started. So I did a lot of like school stuff, and then it just got bigger in the city. People start noticing me. Club owners start let me in free. You know, I start getting the drinks, and then I'm like, oh, good. it was just crazy. And then I just saved up and then moved out here, and now I'm here just Don't trying cry. to live. <laughs> How do you guys leverage your social media platform and following and create another avenue of income? You see, the beautiful thing that we live in in a day and age now, we don't need 150 auditions we get on. We put on an audition tape every time we get on our social media. One of my first things that I did that showed like a range of acting, Kenya Bears, who the creator of Blackish, called me on my phone and said, I want you an episode and put me on Blackish. With that being said, I do need to know the keys to your cocktail. Okay, so we have the that crushed ice. So we got the mango Ciroc, pineapple, <laughs> King's Paradise juice. Cheers to King's Paradise juice. juice. <laughs> Drink it all, man. And it's your boy King Kieran, shout out to Complex Hustle, presented by Ciroc.